the 2024 Queer Games Bundle. It's a compilation of 500 games of which I intend to play every single one. And due to my upload schedule, I don't know how many parts this will take me. So this is part 14 of who knows how many parts. But in an effort to not waste any time, let's just get into it. <laughs> Shit. Spiciest sex dice. Wow, okay. Um, roll, roll the dice and do as you're told. <laughs> Or not, you are always free to say no to something if it doesn't feel fun to you, both as the person rolling the dice and as the player receiving the action. <laughs> um, you have three options for the dice. You're going to use determine the beginning of the game, which is the use action. Which die is the body part? Uh huh. Okay, so this is this is how the game <laughs> seductively look at. Yeah, I love when I roll the dice and I just keep getting seductively look at. And I'm just mean mugging someone the whole time. Well, this doesn't make sense. I'm gonna I'm gonna finger your elbow. <laughs> yeah, that sounds crazy. Let me let me seductively look at that hand. What the fuck? <laughs> your knee. Prepare your knee to be blowed on. <laughs> that night, the sky was completely clouded. Oh, it's a visual novel. No stars peering down. Yeah. If I go to this next game and it's a visual novel, there's gonna be some some shit that's gonna go down. I don't know what's gonna happen, but something is gonna happen. It's gonna be wicked. I'm gonna have to bust out the freak dice. Is this reading? This is a really fancy way of getting me to read though. Okay, here we go. There's this conception. I can't read this. No, I can. To have and to hold. There we go. I'm on top of it. Stop playing. A game about memories and vulnerability. RPG jam. Oh, is this a, an RPG? Is, wait, it's just two pages? Share something personal. A family memory. A deep dark fear. Listen when they share. Oh, listen when they share something in return. Hold on to it. Bring it up later. Okay, that's the game. Um, What is a deep dark fear of mine? The only thing I fear is... Letting myself down. <laughs> I, I'm ready to play Blood and Company. Is this reading? Oh my god, here, here's another paragraph. Oh, oh, multiple. So, I'm a little concerned about this one, because I opened this up and it said, click the link to go to the smut page. Um, Alright, put me in, coach. I'm ready for this. As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not reading all that. I'm really that bitch, huh? Hmm, okay, we're starting off with some sass, huh? I'm really that bitch, huh? Un Unax... Unatsuki. That is a crazy name. Unatsuki? Un How do I pronounce that? Whispered as the chilly wind of a new morning played with her hair. Before stepping out of the forest and into the road, she set aside her broom. Her she a fucking wizard? <laughs> I'm gonna get on my broom and fly away. <laughs> Madame Mayer. A slapstick romp? romp? Am I thinking about the, <laughs> the right thing? I, I don't think I am. But an unlikely here. Okay, hold on. Define romp. Romp. Especially if a child or animal play roughly and energetically. Spell of rough energetic play. Okay, and then what's, what's a romper? Okay, is there like British slang for this? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of, of rump. Is there a difference between that and rump? The hind part of the body of a mammal, the lower back. Yeah, I was thinking like, like a rump. Yeah, the butt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought this was a whole different way. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about child. That's a crazy like one letter difference <laughs> from another word, but okay. We're talking about the childlike play of this unlikely hero. To play Madame Mayor, you don't need all that much. For starters, you'll need a gathering of no less than four people. That, that's a lot for me. I, I don't have that many people. <laughs> At least not to the beck and call of my finger. I'm actually I probably could get like one or two, but but I can't guarantee at least four. That's crazy. What else do I? Oh, and I also need. I don't need much, but I also need a dice set with D20, D10, D8, D64. My ass, I don't need much. Okay. My heart, my heart. Sophia de Augustine. Um, in another lifetime, Andre and Nikolai heed the Saint Mary's call. This is reading. Oh my God, it is just reading. What the fuck? A metallic sound rings out as the blade of my sword crashes. Oh, clashes against my opponents. Well, that was a pretty underwhelming clink for the giant blades I'm seeing clash right now. What? White sword slashes appear on a red background. The clang of our weapons has become a f as familiar to me as the chimes of my own grandfather clock. What a weird comparison to make. It's as similar as the, the click of my clock. I would understand maybe like the, the stepping of my, my feet, the beat of my heart. That might hit a bit harder, you know, but oh, white sword slashes appear on a red. Why did they play it again? The view, what? what? Okay, well, this is a visual novel. I'm not, I'm not going to listen to this guy describe how a sword fight's going anymore. What? Full of beans. Ha ha ha. I'm ready to be full of beans. Oh, you fucking fools. You should have never given me this option. My name is... Wow. Can I really set that as my name? Oh, you fools. I would like... I can do custom pronouns too? Hmm. No, no, I'll just do he him. 
uh, Tabacalaragite. Thank you for accepting our invitation. We're delighted that you, Nelson Kwan, Chinese, born October 14, 1984, Houston, Texas, USA, as a Chinese American film editor, director, and producer. His most, I'm glad, no, he, my name still goes on. Uh, we know that laughter is universal, but what causes laughter? That's a good question. Please, Nelson Kwan, Chinese, Eric, born job. Okay, bro. You fold the letter and put it back into your pocket. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know what they asked of me. They just said please and then I couldn't get past my entire name. El Polo is one of those places. Spa oh wow. Nelson Kwan. Oh yeah, I'm ready to think about the decor okay. I can't even read it. Oh. How do people born October 14, 1990 <laughs> bro. Taking a moment. You notice a letter to the table addressed to Nelson Kwan, bro. I love that they refer to this name as much as humanly possible with everything I do. Le souffle de de la 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 ah quel joli parler de de autre. Okay, this is another one of those books um, where I click a button and they're like what? Oh, and then they show me an image, but then they show me a lot a lot of reading. In 1871, Irish author Sheridan Le Fanu began publishing a Dr. Hesselius. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of reading. An image. Accompanied by more reading. Ah, Sawtooth Jack in the Dark Harvest by Cheyenne N.K. Stone. That's a pretty sick name. What? N.K. Stone? What is this? Uh, a small agricultural community holds an annual hunt called The Run on Halloween night. The deadly tradition pits their young men against a terrifying monster that emerges from the cornfield. To protect the town and their entire way of life, they must hunt this creature down and kill it before it reaches midnight. Inspired by the Dark Harvest book and film. There's a book and film about this? That sounds awesome. Threat Sawtooth Jack. Oh wait, here's his powers, okay. Power one, he's cunning. He's unable to communicate in this form. He is still capable of higher thought. He can set traps and make strategic decisions. He will avoid killing the other boys if he can, but will be ruthless if necessary. Superhuman strength. Okay, that that's the the that's definitely a jump. I mean, yeah, cunning, right? He's plotting, he's planning, but th what does he have to plot and plan for if he can rip through human flesh and bone with ease? That's a little concerning. Stealth. He's careful about going unnoticed. He will often make use of high stocks of corn and other structures to obscure himself. Okay, that's not too bad, because it's not like he's invisible, right? He just, he's a good lay of the land, good lay of the cornfields, right? Speed. He's speedy, capable of speed and agility much greater than a typical human and can dash out of sight and range at a moment's notice. Okay, so now here's the, the real kicker. So you mean to tell me he's superhuman speeds, superhuman strength, and could just dunk on everybody in the cornfield? I mean, like, if he's fat, like... I don't understand how you're supposed to hunt this guy. Harm capacity six. Rip four harm. Hand met. Wait, is this a tabletop role playing game? Okay, let's power skill the woman in white. This is by the same person, so I'm assuming this is another tabletop role playing game. Incorporeal. Incorporeal. I can't read today. Marlene is able to pass through solid objects at will. Okay, that's that's pretty hard to deal with. That alone actually is just like she could best like anybody in a fight. She's looking like Mirio. Spectral teleportation is the ability to instantly appear anywhere while within her lair. Oh, okay, so it's it's specified to her lair. So that makes it more manageable. But incorporeal just doesn't like nullifies that completely. She can just go anywhere. Um when Marlene first appears to the hunters, the must they must roll cool. I miss the hunters completely mesmerized and will follow her back to the creek and be drowned. That's crazy. So when she first appears, everyone could just lose. Everyone could just miss and lose. That's insane. Recommended mouse. Nope. Playing with my mouse. Don't care. Oh. What the? Oh my. Oh, we're saving people? Oh shit. Go back up. Take him up. What? <laughs> Who the fuck drowns in this? What's my lady? What's my lady? What's my lady? All right, back down. We gotta go save more people. Oh my. What? I don't know what the fuck they're saying. No I don't know what language this is. So are these like sea shanties I'm hearing? What, what, what? All right, now back down in the- Yes! Yeah? Who? Oh, hey, hey, don't hurt him now. I guess we just gotta go back up. Oh my god, who are these people? This is tough. Alright, take me back down. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, what are they saying though? On a real note? What are, what the fuck are they saying? Also, are these people even alive anymore? They're all like skewered with arrows and spears and passed out. Don't know how that's uh, happening here. But we're gonna go back down and it's gonna get late. Here we go. Oh, it's all slow-mo. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Go up. Go up. You're gonna pass out. Oh. And we passed out. Was I supposed to grab more than one before I... Hey. Mm. I don't know what you're saying, lady, but keep saying it. Yeah, be boss. We should just start naming shit like whatever the hell she was saying. Like I'm trying to go get a drink of Bebos. Can I get a Bebos on the rocks? All right, wh what's up with this? Did, did we die? It's all. Oh my God! It's symbolic. It's like when you die and it's all, it's all gone and there's nothing. Okay, well, I think we died. That, that was a, a really weird fucking minute long game. Spellbound, put me in, coach. I, I don't even need no trigger warnings, no nothing. I'm ready. Ooh, I look cool as fuck. If that's me, I look cool as fuck. <laughs> well, I returned to my apartment complex after a long day at university. A long day at uni. So I played this game for a minute and um, it is literally just walking around and a lot of reading once delayed all right uh put me in i i guess right dot 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 oh my god is it all reading no oh my god it's all reading tea time with a vampire alex you come what that's my name uh nah really mate yeah but you've been on a couch all day too tired to go out mate right but have fun if you're sure wow this is all reading Again. Alright, cat's out of the bag with this one. This is uh, another reading game, if you couldn't tell by the look of it. Milliseconds. Oh, why did font change? Okay, milliseconds of romance. A colloquial abbreviation of tree system. Poof, more reading. Poof, more reading. Poof, more. Michael Jordan. More reading. Okay. Oh, yeah. What the fuck am I looking at here? Decker. It starts here. There we go. <gasps> Whoa. That's cool looking. His eyes, can I make him cross-eyed? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh shit. Can I just make shit with this? Hold on, I'm about to do some fuck shit. <laughs> okay, what else can I put in here? Oh, that's fire. Damn, that's hard. What the fuck? It's like a biblically accurate angel thing kind of going on here. Angel blood. Oh, he looked at me, what the fuck? Show me the angel blood. The angel bloods and the angel crypts. This memory is the be is best enjoyed with a nice succulent drink. And I, I got water, I guess. Oh my god, it's a visual novel. No. Oh my god, what the fuck? The beach that makes you old. I, uh, disclaimer, I haven't seen the movie Old 2021. I will not watch the movie Old 2021. Please don't try to discuss the movie Old 2021 with me. This game is not about the movie Old 2021. The beach that makes you- Oh, well. If, for those that haven't seen the movie, it's literally about a beach, and when you get there, you age rapidly. Um, and that's crazy looking. Because this sounds exactly like the movie, but if he insists that it's not the movie, I'll hear him out. Welcome to the beach that makes you old uh why would i want to go to this beach ever i genuinely just would not want to go to this beach ever have you seen the movie there's like this is stupid why would i go here postal coven by cambric five additional archetypes for your friend in the in witchcraft what okay hold on what is this the impostor no <laughs> oh wow sensitivity's fast my god hello chicken Cl cluck Eat it, eat? Oh, to like speak to. Okay, I'm glad they stop all the audio when I talk to someone. Oh my god, I love this little guitar in the background. Change song? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. What the fuck? What? That's not what she said. <laughs> Who are you? Wow, these guys all look like fucking gremlins. I, not what you said at all. I can't imagine playing this game geeked off to you. I would freak out. Whoa, who are you? Oh, hi, bro. Look at this smug little fucker in the bottom right of my screen. Why are they all just out here? Is that a spaceship? What the fuck is going on in this game? I know my me. I need to apple the cow. Oh my god. Oh, well, he's gone for good. Honey the cow? <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god, I was not expecting... Oh, what the fuck? Why does that do that? Oh, the cow jumped down. 
Wait, they move? Oh, y'all hear that pun though? The cat, what do cows do? They move? Oh my god, I'm I'm inventing new dad jokes. Unless those have been a thing already. Wow. Come here, Candy. Candy, get the fuck in here. I'm gonna need to I'm gonna fling you in here. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I'll Drive by Tabitha O'Connell. An interactive story with a single ending. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Oh my god, it's all reading. Hey, did you guys think I wouldn't play this game for a fifth or sixth time? I actually don't know how many times this is now, but this is the fifth or sixth time or some larger number than that. Maybe even a smaller one. I'm not sure. I've played this before though, and it's in another different language this time as well. So isn't that cool? Um, what what is this? This is five pages of just text. This could literally be like a someone's fucking college paper that I just have now. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to play this. Oh my god, is this a fucking interactive story game again? This is like the, the, the new big, this is part of the big three. There's tabletop, no, 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 there's PDFs, there's visual novels, and now interactive stories, which are slightly different from the visual novels, because now there's no visuals. It's just a story that's interactive. All right, you know what? I'm going to find gold in this. You watch your favorite film, Bresson's Space Plus Vide. Is this a real thing? Here's what we're going to do. Is this real? 50-minute documentary on Henry Cartier. Who is this? Henry Cartier Bresson's Plain Love Documentary. This is our favorite thing to watch. Who was this guy? Let's see. Robert Bresson. Uh-huh. French film director. Known for his ascetic approach. What does this word mean? Ascetic. Characterized by or suggesting the practice of severe self-discipline, abstention from all forms of indulgence. I see. Alright, well, I mean, that was cool. More games than the last two times. So that's, that's an